This is the best picture I can get. I'd stake a lot of money on that, sir. And the fact that the car's registered to someone she knows, the fact that the guy is the source, sees it on a daily basis. I mean, like, what's the odds of it not being? Seriously, it could be anyone, right? Seriously, it could be anyone. But has anyone got that look? Has anyone got a car registered in the name of someone in that family? Just anyone? This is Denver, Colorado. Oh, so there you go. What do you think? It could be anyone. Yeah, could be anyone. Of course it could. I'm sure there's loads of women like her that have got a car in someone close to her, her name. It just happens to look like her. Yeah, I'm sure. You, it's your opinion that counts, not mine. We know the car registration. We know who it's registered to. Larry wants to come up. I've got the link for you, Larry. You want to come up and explain a bit more? On my opinion, I'm you know, for what it's worth. So, but that's just my opinion. Your opinion is what counts, really. I, I'm not going to argue with you guys. You, you know better than me. I'm sure there's loads of women that um, have got a car in the, that family and look like her. I'm sure there's many women driving around Denver, Colorado that look like that and have cars registered in, in in close to the family's name i'm sure there's many many of them not larry knows her registration address and name larry knows her name who that car is registered to and her address what he wants to do with it is up to him i'm just reporting on his report and i i applaud him for bringing this to the public attention because she is a public figure. She is a public figure. Um, when you say, when you say, Larry, you know her name and her address. Well, have you paid to get that? Or are you just your own? That's the problem. I, I am personally, yes, my own investigative work. And, but I also will say here, and I'm going to think of my wording carefully. I'm not even comfortable with how I got it. I'm not even comfortable with how I got it. I'm not even comfortable with how I got it. And for, and I am not going to risk my legal, you know, my careers. No. And things like that. I'm not going to. But it can that. be done, right? It can be done. You obviously got. It can be doing. done if you know can people that done. think about it. Anybody these days is in systems. They're in systems because they have what? 
you got to have health insurance. You got to have car insurance. You got to have, uh, unless of course your car is not registered in your name in her case, but, um, you know, you got to have certain things in life to just live and you're in these systems or you're in past systems that every day you think about it, your cell phone, you don't think she has a phone, of course. So when you get a name change that gets updated in these systems, you're still going to have a social security number, a date of birth. You're going to have these things. So it's not hard. It's just a matter of what lengths you're willing to go to to get it. But What's I, the point of her spending all that money then to change her name if she should still be oh, chased I think, so easy? I think it was just more of a – I think she knew – anyone that changes their name knows if you're that high of a profile figure, people are going to get it anyways. That's why celebrities – you know, they they would be changing their name left and right if that's if it was that easy. That's true. Yeah, I yeah, don't believe true, yeah. I don't believe she thought at the time. Remember, it was back in October. This was just starting to pick up again because of the documentary, and that was around the time that I got involved. So it wasn't really, and even now we're all in a bubble. I think we got to realize, even if there's a hundred thousand on YouTube that care, which I would say that's probably being generous. There might be less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What silence is more? We it's really, very small. Really we yeah, think yeah. we think because we live in that bubble. You know, I always compare it to New York City. I live in New York, so I always compare it. Here in New York, we're a huge state when you look at the map. But New York City, those people down there on that little tiny island, because there's eight million of them, and if it doesn't happen on on uh, in Manhattan, they don't think it happened. It's a, you know they're in their own bubble. That's the only place where things happen. And yeah. we got to realize that the mass majority of the public has no clue about this case still, about who she is. I, I would beg everyone to go down, walk down their street and talk to their neighbors and just say, hey, do you know Nicole Kessinger is? Yeah. They're going to tell you no. They don't know her. So it was a good move by her to do that. Um, yes, people like me can find it, but what would be the point of me giving it out anyways? I'm not out to hurt anybody. No. Um, I want justice. No. And I'll be the first to admit, too, that she is innocent till proven guilty. And um, I want I wish the authorities would do the job that we are all trying to do for them. But I also will say here, and I'm going to think of my wording carefully, I'm not even comfortable with how I got it.